A binary search tree is only fast when it is balanced. What happens if the binary search tree is not balanced? It is possible for the tree to be a singly linked list to the right. When searching this, it can take up to big O of n time to find the node. We need a way to automatically balance the tree. This is where an AVL tree comes in. An AVL tree uses rotations to keep the binary tree balanced. First, we need to define the height and balance factor. The height at a node is the length of the longest path from that node to a leaf node. The height of the leaf nodes are zero. For example, the height of the root is three because the length of the path from the root to the right most leaf is three. Here are all the nodes labeled with their heights. The balance factor of a node is height of the left node minus the height of the right node. Here are all the nodes labeled with their balance factors. Note that for the node with value 20, since there is no right child, we take the height of the right node as minus 1. A tree is balanced when all its balance factors are either minus 1, 0, or 1. Let's start with a simple tree with just two nodes, 10 and 20. Now, if we insert 30, the tree becomes unbalanced. We can calculate the heights and balance factors for each node. As you can see, the balance factor of the root is minus 2, which is less than minus 1. To fix this imbalance, we need to perform a rotation. As you can see, the balance factors are now all between minus 1 and 1. The rotation we performed is called a left-left rotation. There are four types of rotations in an AVL tree. The first one is a left-left rotation. It is used when the tree is heavy on the right side. Here the root has balance factor negative 2 and the balance factor of the right child is negative 1, which triggers a left-left rotation. We rotate left. Node 20 becomes the new root, node 10 becomes its left child, and the pointers to the subtrees are updated. After the rotation, the heights and balance factors are within the acceptable range. The second type of rotation is a right-right rotation. It is used when the tree is heavy on the left side. It is just the mirror version of the last type of rotation. Here the root has balance factor 2 and the balance factor of the left child is 1, which triggers a right-right rotation. We rotate right, node 20 becomes the new root, node 30 becomes its right child, and the pointers to the subtrees are updated. After the rotation, the heights and balance factors are all within the acceptable range again. The third type of rotation is a right-left rotation. It is used when the tree configuration is like shown. Here the root has balance factor negative 2, and the balance factor of the right child is 1, which triggers a right-left rotation. We rotate such that node 20 is brought up to be the new root. Node 30 becomes its right child, and node 10 becomes its left child. The pointers to the subtrees are updated. After the rotation, the heights and balance factors are all within the acceptable range again. The fourth type of rotation is a left-right rotation. It is used when the tree configuration is like shown. Here, the root has balance factor 2, and the balance factor of the left child is negative 1, which triggers a left-right rotation. We rotate such that node 20 is brought up to be the new root. Node 30 becomes its right child, and node 10 becomes its left child. The pointers to the subtrees are updated. After the rotation, the heights and balance factors are all within the acceptable range again.